my body because I'm so used to sitting down. Howdy hey, submariners. Um, hi. One very notable thing, oh, two notable things are, one, I got a new camera, so this might be very different and um, it's really awesome. And second, I, uh, I got glasses. No, these are not fake hipster nerd wannabe glasses. These are Buddy Holly. I don't know if you can see him out there, but he's there. These are Buddy Holly glasses. And just to prove that these aren't fake, Yeah. That'll be the day when I die when okay, um, for those of you who saw the title, um, the title is because two weeks ago I didn't make a video and I requested a punishment for not making a video, and Karen suggested I do a Beatles rant. So I said, you know what, I've been kind of planning, I kind of wanted to do that, so that's why I'm going to do that. So, but for those of you who saw the title and kind of freaked out, just keep in mind that this, this isn't real. Like, like, I'm just, it's just a pretend thing. Alright, so, you know, just letting you know now. First of all, the name Beatles. Stupid name. Beat Bulls. You basically say that you are beat less, which they were because their music was just absolutely terrible. What the heck is up with the hair? It looks like somebody dropped their pudding on top of it. Just like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. And you just left it there. I mean, what kind of hair is that? I wanna hold your hair. What am I? Four? And Sergeant Peppers? Who, who, what kind of Sergeant Peppers? I mean, th think about that. Does he like strut around town, you know, like, oh, oh, Sergeant Pepper, I'm so swag with his like friend, Lieutenant Tomato? Lord have mercy, what are you wearing? What's up with the mustache, man? And what's up with their friend Big Nose not signing autographs? I mean, you have fans for a reason. And then you just go, you know, with your crap, you know, like, After October 21st, I will not be signing any autographs because I'm just too lazy and I've got too much to do. So peace and love and peace and love and peace and love. The album, A Hard Day's Night. Is it day or is it night? Can you make up your mind or are you just too darn stoned to choose one? Another thing, the drugs, Magical Mystery Tour. What the hell was up with that? You got this totally not attractive man in this totally not attractive suit writing something on a desk with this totally not attractive left-handedness. All right, and then you have this random guy just going like, blah, 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 just yelling at these people who are entering this building thing, and then and then you just outside with the totally not attractive guy riding something and a cow, <laughs> mind freak. She loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. This thing called the White Album. I think that was just some idea that popped up at one of their like pop parties. They were all as high as a kite and they were saying, uh, l let's make the White Album. The movie, A Hard Day's Night. Hey, let's make some random movie with no plot whatsoever about us and some random train talking to random people running, hitting windows, asking for our ball back. They didn't even have a ball. Guys, we're gonna go to a hotel and then a train and then some car, oh, and this old man's gonna tag along, because you always need an old man, that's always very essential in movie making, you know? And then just running around in some field, just for the heck of it, why not, let's just go to some field and act like idiots. I am the walrus, kum kum gachu. I am the walrus. You are not a walrus. All of their songs about how heartbroken they are. I mean, if, if you're just really that depressed, go see a psychiatrist or a counselor, get some help. Don't vent about it to the world, it just puts people in depression. Why she had to go, I don't know why she had to go, why are you asking me? And then, glass onion. There is no such thing on this planet in space and time. An onion made of glass. And then he rebuts his earlier statement from saying, I am the walrus, and, and then he just goes and he just like freaks your mind and goes, Hey, I, I got you losers, I wasn't the walrus, the walrus was Paul. Why do you have to lie? Revolution 9. That sounds like the kind of song that a group of people at a mental asylum would be like, Hey guys, I think we, we should make a song and it should have random bits of weird things just to like, 
make people want to explode because that's just always something that should go on an album just definitely yeah people say that there were four members of the beatles there were obviously five or at least four and a half the thing on that drummer's face there is no way that that is a nose don't even get me started about their earlier career i mean playing in germany i mean do you do you really want to know what happened drug poison insane stupid hippie weirdos who just had this perfect goody good boy past of wearing ties and you know shaking their head like bobbleheads but they were just crazy people who obviously needed some mental help how people thought their music was influential to what is being created today i have no idea but i just but just they suck and then the one guy just chanted on about Give peace a chance. Why don't you give a hairbrush a chance? You should give that a chance. That's one of the things that you really needed to give a chance to, my friend. <sighs> Can't believe I said all of that. That was that was one that was a very difficult thing I had to go through. this brilliant idea of marrying this um Japanese chimpanzee. I don't know what they say. 